There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Divas and Divos, it's your girl April So This video is going to be another hair tutorial. You guys know we do hair tutorials and other things too, okay? Amongst other things. So this one is from an AliExpress vendor, and I really am not sure how you pronounce the name. I'm thinking it's called Sign Norse. I'm not really sure, but you guys know that I am known and good for chopping up somebody's name, like for real. It could be called dandelion. I'm calling it all types of things. And then I'm like later on like, oh, not Daniel Lion. It's dandelion. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just me. So if I do chop up your name and I mispronounce it incorrectly to this website, to this vendor, I do apologize. However, they do have some really nice hair. Um, I was shocked. Well, not really shocked, but you know what? Sometimes you get some good. You know what I really liked the most about this hair was the closure. Like, it was really nice. It was a three-part closure, and it was really, really nice. It wasn't wrinkled. It was ventilated really well. It barely shed. Like, the whole thing barely shed, and I was raking the heck out of it. Plus, I used my styling mousse and my favorite hairspray and I mean it just really worked out well now they did send me four bundles and a closure they sent me a 22 inch a 20 inch an 18 inch and a 16 inch those are all the bundles and then a 16 inch closure just like a regular closure um, but I didn't have to use the fourth one which was the 16 inch bundle because I kind of like didn't want all that hair this time um so I, I didn't really space it that far apart but I just let it go and just let it go naturally so I do have a another whole entire bundle left but I curled it last night um after washing and conditioning it and like I said I I let it air dry on my mannequin heads all the time because I really don't like to stand it and blow dry any type of hair. But plus, it kind of like dries the hair out too when you be blow drying it. So I just left it and I let them air dry overnight because I ain't in no rush. You know what I'm saying? I am not in a rush. And then the next day, I um, applied some styling mousse. Now, this styling mousse I actually got from the Dollar Tree because I had ran out of the styling mousse by Aussie. And I was like, you know what? It's just styling mousse. I really use the styling mousse to like flame tame the flyaways and um stuff like that i really wasn't like too fond of this styling mousse so this is the styling mousse that i got from the dollar tree there's two other brands so a total of three brands um they just said maximum hold volumizing mousse um when i put it in my hand it had like it gave it like this this weird feeling like i really can't describe it but it just wasn't the same feeling as i would get from like other styling mousses um so i had to definitely brush it through and luckily my brush was still damp because i had just finished washing the wig and so it was still damp the brush was still damp so i was able to like really brush through but it, it just made it feel like weird and so i brushed it thoroughly and then i put a little bit of my hairspray on i really don't think like this was, uh, excuse me i really don't think like this is a really great product i mean it is at the dollar tree if i had to choose i would definitely choose the um aussie um brand styling mousse and it works so good or even the cream of nature but by far i love the aussie um but for a dollar like it worked but i just didn't like the feel of it and then after i just brushed it and brushed it it felt normal but i just really didn't like the feel of it um and then once i curled it um I just left these pin curls in it because I want it to be really, really bouncy. So that's basically it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it off of Sheba. We're going to call her Sheba. If you guys don't know who Sheba is, that is the tiger from The Walking Dead. Her name is Sheba. And this is Sheba. This is not the same one from last week, right? No, this is not the same one from last, last week when I did a video and I had my other one. This is another one. Her head is bigger. Like, this one's head is really, really big. Like, seriously. This is the big head mannequin. So her name is Sheba. So let's remove these um, curls and uh, pink curls or whatever.
Okay, so remember when I was telling you guys that I really did like the closure because it was like really thin up at the front, like it was like pre-plugged pre closure, which is really good. And the parting was like, the, the parting is thin, but you know what I'm saying? It is still a really nice closure. So I'm gonna just take my concealer. So yeah, I have never seen a closure that was like pre-plugged, so this is a good thing. So I did sew some combs in the cap right here, and this is just a regular spandex dome cap. Um, the ladies one by the brand Cupid. This is not the mesh one. Um, then I just sewed a comb in the back of the nape area. And as you can see, the curls are really bouncy. This is how I like them. So then when you put it on, it looks so nice and full. So let's get into this, you guys. long like this is 22 inches and this is like long on me um this is like really long on me 22 inches but for the most part so one thing that i did notice about this hair when i was curling so i used like my one and a half inch barrel and like i said i put the styling mousse on it and then i also put this on it like i spritzed a little bit of the hairspray on it like i always do and then i curl it and then i'll take the curler and i won't unravel it i'll just like kind of like squish um kind of like just shimmy the curling iron out of the hair and then definitely just put these in right away. Now, the hair, just like for me, being that you've seen it was pin curl overnight, it didn't keep the curls. Like, I have had other hair in the past, like last week, week before that, that I've done the same exact technique to. And the curls would be, like, really, really more bouncy and more, like, curls. So, I don't, like, I, I think that the curl, the hair didn't curl as well as I wanted to, wanted it to. I'm not sure if it was the styling mousse that I put on it. But, you know what I'm saying? I have, I just, in my experience, I really feel like it didn't curl as as good as I would have expected it to and some hair be so straight that you just can't curl it like it take forever like you would definitely have to put like flexi rods in it so if you have hair that doesn't like keep a good curl I would definitely put flexi rods in it but um it is body wave hair so if I forgot to mention that it is body wave hair but for the it's very bouncy though it's very full you know what I'm saying for three bundles like um it's very bouncy and full 
and that's the reason why I wanted the curls. I didn't cut it or anything like that. I just left it in its natural state because I just don't be into cutting their hair like I used to. For the most part, and I hope I'm not chopping up their name, Sonors or Sonorsha, I'm not really sure, but I do apologize if I'm saying it incorrectly. The hair is like very decent. It's average hair um, on a scale of 1 to 10. Because um, it didn't curl like that great, I would probably definitely give it like an 8 because you can still fix it. But the closure is like beyond beautiful. Like I can't believe like... Like, the closure is so nice, like, for real. This is a very nice closure, like, a pre-plugged closure. I mean, like, where are you getting at? Seriously. So, definitely check them out on AliExpress. I will post all of their information below for you guys. And it came in, like, a nice bag. The packaging was really neat. They had labels on their stuff. So, I like when you have stuff like that because you know where it comes from, and it looks like it took time and care and consideration. So, that was also a plus. But yeah, so for the most part, I just really wasn't like a big fan of the way the hair curled. But it didn't shed though. When I washed it and when I was hot curling it, it did not shed. So there was no breakage. So that part I was impressed with. So I love you guys. Stay diva and diva delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and leave all your comments below. And I'll see y'all in a soon-to-come video.